Hello everybody and welcome to this video that is so special because it is a tag video and this is the let me see if I could do this correctly the Procrass Tagnation book tag I don't know I think I'm getting too clever for my own good here it might end up biting me in the ass but um this tag video is so about procrastination that I didn't do it on Tuesday. And so now it's Saturday? It's a fucking Sunday. Good lord. I've really put this off. So this is an original tag. Um, and this was spawned from a conversation I was having with a viewer who um, we started just talking about weird little things like when you see the questions you'll get it but we started talking about stuff and then we realized that like three the last like three bookish problems we were having were basically just b based on the fact that we're procrastinators and had absolutely nothing to do with what we thought we were bitching about in the first place so <clears throat> the first question a book you have been putting off the longest what book have you been putting off reading longer than any other book and for me the answer to this question is the cimmerillion um by j double r tolkien um and honestly it's just big fucking book that goes into detail about the things that we learned about in Lord of the Rings. And it's a history. I've had it on my lap. I flipped through it. I've read the first page and I've just been <sighs> and so that's the answer to that. Number two, a book you are putting off because of the author. Now, this question is more of, along the lines of, there's a book that you've been hearing a bunch of people rave about, but you don't have a good experience with that author, really. So you're like, Gah. And so, um, for me, this is a pretty easy question, because it's basically any long-form book by Stephen King, and also Anne Rice. Um, my... For those of you who've heard me bitch about Stephen King on this channel for years, um, the bitch about Anne Rice way predates my um, Stephen King angst. But um, Anne Rice, I, and I've said this before too, I love the world and the mythology that she created. Absolutely love it. Like when people talk, like... I used to hang out at this coffee shop um, with a bunch of hardcore nerds, let's say, and um, all of them read all the Anne Rice books, and they would get into fucking debates every night. And listening to them talk about the world was so much more interesting than picking up a fucking Anne Rice book, dude. So, so those would be, those would be my two for shizzle. Next, a book you put off because booktube raved about it. Now, if you're like me, the second somebody says something's good, you're skeptical. But then when everyone says something's good, you're like, oh, that's bullshit. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna play. Like, I didn't see Titanic for like... 10 months after it came out. Um, I was the holdout on that one. This was kind of hard because typically people on BookTube and me have completely different taste. Um, but there is one book that I've wanted to read for a long time um, because every version of this book I've seen like has great cover art. So that immediately draws me in. And then um, the title, I wasn't a huge... I'm like, oh, that sounds weird. 
But then when I like found out what the book was about, I was like, oh my god, I sh- I'm I'm gonna love this book. But everyone who talks about it that I've heard loves it, and that book is The Master and Margarita. Is just such my wheelhouse of um, angsty Russian author incarcerations. Um, the the whole the whole thing about this book, and. I try really hard to never learn anything about a book before I read it, which makes things really difficult because then I don't know if there's a book out there that I would even like. So um, I'm obviously doing that part of book two wrong. Next, number four, a book you were going to read but got rid of, traded, sold, lent out, or let out, that you say to yourself, you'll get again. Um, and the ones for this that I'm still kind of kicking myself for. Um, I've gotten these ones, but like I used to have this collection of the, what are these? The Del Rey HP Lovecraft paperbacks. And those I lent out a bunch and never got them back. Um, and so I had to repurchase those ones. (sighs) <sighs> but that was one of those things where I'm like, oh, I'm sure I'll get more of them. <clears throat> and then, as far as ones that I haven't read, that I always thought I'd be able to pick up again, these are the original series Star Trek novels. And I've gotten a bunch, but um, like even the ones that I got from my dad, like I just assumed... Because my dad had a bunch of them, and all my dad's friends had a bunch of them, that they were all over the place. And they are. And honestly, a lot of them aren't even that expensive when you, like, go looking for them. But because there were so many, like, I've had a really hard time trying to pick all of them up again. And now I'm at the point where I don't even want to fucking read them, because it was such a bitch and such a fucking uncomfortable fucking thing. So, um, that part of the procrastination might last a lot longer. Five, a book you've always wanted to buy, but are sure there will always be affordable copies. Now this one has bit me in the ass because there aren't affordable copies of this. And I'm sure there will be, I'm sure it'll happen, but the, the big Del Rey Conan books. There's three of them. And it has all of the Robert E. Howard Conan stuff. It has the stuff from Weird Tales and the stuff that was unfinished and fragments. Um, and it's the stuff that um, L. Sprague de Camp and Lynn Carter based a lot of their other Conan stories on. Um, and I'm just, I've always wanted them. And um, I've always been like, well, and um, every time I look at them, they are more expensive than I would like them to be. And I haven't checked them lately. I should probably check. I had an opportunity to buy them like years ago. And I was like, you know what? Those will be around. And they are around, but they're just not cheap. Um, so I don't know, that kind of pissed me off. So I might, I, you know, I should just get them. Fuck it, dude. I don't know what the fuck the problem is here. Okay. Six, a book you put off because it reminds you of someone. Any book by Louise Hay, my ex-wife, um, was not much of a reader, but, um, she liked to fancy herself someone who liked Louise Hay. So these books would get purchased and sat on the coffee table. I can't even remember her picking a book up and opening it ever. But they were on the coffee table, so when her friends would come over, they would see the books on the coffee table, and then this would spark a conversation. Um, So those books are more like props. And I'm not even necessarily into what Louise Hay has to say. But even if I was, I don't think I would get the books by her. I would probably go Louise Hay adjacent 
to try to get that information if that was something I ever wanted. A book you put off because you were waiting for the show or movie to come out and you wanted to like read it closer to the time the show came out so you would be a part of the conversation and the whole thing. This is fucking hysterical. But the one for this is The Boys on Amazon. And the funny thing is, I still haven't read it. My neighbor, when I lived in North Hollywood, was like on me all the time like oh have you read the boys yet i'll I'll let you i'll let you borrow the stuff man have you read the boys it's so good it's so good and i'm like no dude i have so much shit to read like i can't like and then i just kept putting it off from that and then when i heard they were gonna do a show i'm like oh now's the time to fucking do it before the show starts um but i'll wait until it gets a little bit closer completely fuck that whole thing up Okay, um, a series you're putting off because of author changes. This one, um, there's two that I have for this. And um, one, I have a really hard time reading the, like, Tor Conan books because of all the authors. I also have a problem with the V.C. Andrews books um, after V.C. Andrews passed and this dude is writing under V.C. Andrews now. With, like, Nick Carter, um, or the Long Arm books. But, like, with the Nick Carter books, like, you don't know who's writing them. Like, they have a bunch of different authors writing those books. And so sometimes you'll get one that you fucking connect with and you fucking think is great right away, and then there's other ones written by others, and it is a slog. And so, um, like, kind of like a house name books, I really stay away from now because I've been burned so many times. But as far as, um, and that's the difference with the Conan books, because with the Conan books that Tor put out, like, you know what author wrote what book. But what I have noticed from going on forums and... Um, reviews and things like that is there isn't really much of a consensus which probably means they're all okay i've read i think three or four of the tour conan books and i have like no like real recollection i have no like i can't like think of a part that i'm like oh yeah that was so cool when blah blah, blah. like it's just a big fat nothing burger so I don't know which one um like I would want to go back to with those and then um I guess with the VC Andrews things and I should probably talk to Regina about this but um I was collecting all the VC Andrews books was reading through the first collection um I can't remember the family name I think it's the one that starts with a D but anyway but um she died pretty much after that I think she died before that one was even finished, but, um, I don't know. So it's just, it, I'm like, eh. all right. So a series you put off starting because of the length. Um, and I'm assuming that this answer will be a lot of people's answers. Maybe not for this question, but for other questions in here, but mine here is the wheel of time. Like that sounds like. A nightmare for me like the biggest slog in the history of forever and I talk to people all the time about it and um, this was one of the books that came up in that conversation I brought up at the beginning of this video and um, everyone's like oh my god you would love Wheel of Time and I'm like would I and I'm beginning to think that people actually don't fucking actually know who the fuck I am because people recommend books to me that are so not like anything I like. So I'm beginning to think that, um, yeah, that like people completely have no idea who I am. But that series is really long, and I probably could have thrown this one in the last one because, um, like, Brandon Sanderson, as much as I like his advice on writing and think that he's a pretty fucking smart dude. I've heard him talk about magic systems and how he puts stuff together 
and all this other shit. And the way he talks about that, if that's the way he fucking writes that, there's no way in fucking hell I'm picking up a goddamn Brandon Sanderson book. And I know there's a lot of Brandon Sanderson fans out there. Um, but, like, Robert Jordan, I'm, like, kind of okay with. And so going from, like, Robert Jordan and then going into uh, Brandon Sanderson, it's just, like, fucking hell. Like, am I in trouble? Like, why am I, like, are you, yeah, you guys know what I'm saying. Okay, a series you started and then put off because of book fatigue. This one is an easy answer, and that is the Travis McGee books by John D. McDonald. And I'm hoping that I'm going to get over this and go back and continue the series because I was really digging it. The books got really fucking preachy, and his like his internal monologue and like about women and about the world, it, it just like. It just got heavy. And it's so funny because some dude... I get funny comments every once in a while where, like, someone tells me, like, oh, um, this is bullshit and you're a piece of crap because yada, 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 yada. And it's funny because it's usually, like, I don't trust people with beards or um, I fucking hate booktubers with tattoos or just something fucking stupid like that. But I on one of my old ass um john t mcdonald travis mcgee videos this fucking dude <laughs> leaves a comment saying um i don't trust a review from anyone who wears glasses first off second who uses vulgarity and third who talks bad about the main character of a series and i'm like Okay, let, let's just take, like, my poor eyesight out of the equation here, um, you bastard. <laughs> but, like, um, I don't know, vulgarity, vulgarity, who gives a shit? But if you're not going to listen to a review where the person talks bad about the main character of a book, like, what the fuck do we base our reviews on? Like, if they spelt the words correctly, that would be me, like, reviewing the editor of a book. I don't know. I just, like, I read that fucking thing, and I'm sure that guy thought he was being, like, oh, I'll, I'll show him. I fucking laughed for, like, an hour. And it took everything in me, because I try not to engage with people who just say shitty things. And who say, like, just... Like, you know, when if you have a channel, you know when people are leaving you comments just to start a fight. And I don't want to, like, get into shit with people. But, dude, I fucking laughed so hard. I fucking, like, sent fucking um, clips of it, like, a screenshot to a bunch of my friends. Um, but it was just, like, oh, it, it took everything in me not to engage. Engage. And then the last one, since we're talking about procrastinating here, um, what about the type of videos you put off watching here on the, the tubes? Like, if you're like me, you have a watch later list that is getting increasingly huge because you see videos and you're like, oh, I want to watch that later. Oh, I want to watch that later. Oh, I want to watch that later. And then that shit adds up and then it ends up sitting there forever. So for me, I was trying to think, is, is there a type of video that um, I will put in my watch later and then just not get around to it for a really long time? And I don't think it's a type of video. I think it's a length of video. I think it's like any video over 20 minutes, even if I really am like into what they're talking about and into the channel itself. Like I'll Like if I don't have time to watch it, I'll save it for later. And then I completely forget. Because, like, how many people actually go and look through their watch later list? I almost never do. The only reason I know I have something in my watch later is because every once in a while YouTube will go, hey, this video is in your watch later, like when you're scrolling. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I have one of those. But I was thinking when I came up with that, I was like, oh, is it going to be, like, tags? Is it going to be book hauls? Is it going to be... And then I was just like, it doesn't 
matter what the video is. And so it's funny for me because I'm sitting here, the most waffly motherfucker in the world, making long ass videos for no fucking reason, knowing that people hardly ever stick through a whole video I do. And I'm sitting here going, yeah, well, I really put off those long videos. It's probably because I can't watch those long videos because I'm like using all my time making really fucking long videos. So one of those things has got to give. So anyway, now as far as tagging people, there are um, some new booktubers in the world of the tube that I would like to hit up here. You know what? Yeah, let's do it like this. I mean, all the usual suspects, if you're watching this video, do this video. It's fun. Um, but um, I will hit up all these people here. So, um, Book Whimsy, um, It Get Reads and Rambles, Novel Idea, Reading Aster, and Big Hard Books and Classics. So, you guys are all fucking tagged, okay? Um, and... Anyone else who wants to do this, knock yourself out. I will have the questions down below. And um, you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Creo and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the career with the Anarchy Creo, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.